you do this. <laughs> Just heading down the M5 Saturday morning. I live in the Midlands of England. So it's good for jumping off. Up, down, left or right. I'm heading down to Wiltshire today to go out digging with Let's Go Digging Nationwide. Paul Howard and his missus Joanne. Uh, they had a really good dig in this location the other week. Gold hammered, Saxon penny, loads of beautiful Romans and stuff. So let's go and see. Let's go and do it, viewers. I'm feeling just confident. Hopefully lucky. Uh, it's still well early. It's only seven o'clock on a Saturday morning. Going to dig all day today, and then they've got another dig tomorrow in the same village but on a different farm i'm going to do both of them viewers see if we can pull out some beauties it viewers I found the dig that's half the battle there he is there's Paul here let's see where he's parking so this is let's go digging on the Saturday down in Wil Wiltshire we're in aren't we Paul Can here you have we it? are good morning everybody lovely morning as well lovely did, did you have Roman at Churton last time as well silver Roman mate yeah. oh yeah yeah Sonari. Gold Roman today for me, mate. That's what I'm after. We're in the area. Yeah. So it should be a good day today. Well, thanks for having us, mate. No problem, mate. Oh, I've only been here five minutes, viewers. Oh, it's half nine now. Those of you more experienced uh, will know just what I've been doing in the woods. But there you go. Ain't always got poor to lose at these rallies. So, sorry about the wind views. Uh, went in the woods. I was, I was only digging can slaw and bits when I went in the woods. I've come out, I've offloaded, and I'm on the hammers, I think. I think it's a little bent one. Yeah, definite hammered. Don't know how bad the bend is. That bend might be a bit too bad to get out. But I like it. I'll give it another little bit of a wipe now, viewers. Yeah. Any, any good, mate? Fuck all, I think. Oh, some sort of... Uh... Round, so I got well, fairly round. I've got a signal off it. Oh, yeah, I think that's uh, a lock. Uh, you know, it's got some black on the lock, key ex scutch, and that. Yeah, that's one. Oh, so. there's a treasures around there. Though. Oh, have you found it? <laughs> <laughs> well, viewers, it's not even 10 o'clock. Look at this for me, second hammered. I think I'll give it a slight scrape, but it looks wonderful. And I don't think the scrape was too bad. Whatever it is, it's all there. It might be a half growth. I'm going to get the water out on that one, viewers. Absolutely made up. It's a foreign one, viewers. I thought initially that was the Tudor Shield, but it isn't. It might be uh, Portuguese or something. I think I've seen these come up as Portuguese in the past or Spanish. I love it. Not even an hour in and I had to nip in the woods as well. And I'm on two hammered viewers. I'm well happy out with Let's Go Digging, Paul and Joanne down in Wiltshire. I was on one with them, Celtic. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got a, a Roman silver there for silver one of the lads open. on the right. Perfect. And there's a silver love token uh, there for you. There's so plenty on this field, plenty on it. <laughs> one of the lads has just popped this, uh, we think it's a silver silica, or it's, it's had a good silver wash on it at least. But it's nice to see both hammers, yeah. hammers and Romans yeah. coming up. Well, well done on your nice silica, mate. Thank you very much, sir. Out with let's go digging, digging the good, the bad, and the indifferent. Nice. It's got a nice pattern on it. Yeah. Possibly a draw pull or something. Never bits, never silver, never silver there, isn't it? Oh, he's on the silver milled. Never silver. Oh, two silver milled. Oh yeah, happy days, nice six months. Sixpence and uh, a frickin' sitting and the spectacle buckle and we're only an hour and 15 minutes in viewers But well done mate, well done Jesus. Coming up today Just pop the nice copper viewers a Nice copper I think it's William III, so that'll be 1690s uh, It's not bad for a copper, a lot of them come up blank remember viewers so a little gentle clean on that will reveal a bit more and it's uh, it's nice on that side showing some signs of wear but nice overall for for a copper that's like 320 odd years old I like it viewers I'm happy I'm having a good day good day and it's only about 10 30. look there's paul there paul's marching about with joanne and his admin taking photographs of all these cool finds that have already come up we got we got the anglo celtic posse in the fields viewers yeah. sandra Yay. shout out to all my lovely viewers who chipped in towards the day uh, too sandra did give us a <laughs> We've I'm got, one of these groupies, yeah! <laughs> we've got matching hats as well. Oh, yeah, I thought I did one. And uh, yeah, thank you for the special cookies as well yeah, the other week, Sandra. Right. See how my viewers look after me. Good luck for the rest of the day, uh, Sandra, and just good luck. Yeah. Full, full stop. And you. Full stop, innit? And innit? you, darling. So it was this side of the field where I found two hammered. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more in that field but I'm trying to work out there was quite a bit on that side there's not been so much come up on these other two fields but I'm thinking if I come in here and stay on this side where it was productive in the field behind me I might have a bit of luck and I've just had my first good find in this other field it's a banger of a dandy button viewers straight out of the 1700s somebody would have been bombing down the local high street big blingy buttons cheesy grin no doubt fancy shoes oh if only we could have seen them in their full regalia viewers i bet you they were buzzing their tits off and their big banging buttons well viewers I'm sorry if there's any wind on this video, it gusted a little bit earlier. I've come away without my wind jammer and you can't just buy one in a garage, it's a technical piece of kit. Oh, I must have spent hundreds on wind jammers over the years. Right, the big banging button, the big banging dandy button. Just picture the dandy who wore that. I've got a tiny button. It's mega fancy and it's silver. And it's older than the dandy button. This is four or five hundred years old, solid, solid silver button. I'll let you have a look at it now, viewers, for the simple reason I know you like to look at stuff. Look at that beautiful little flower design on this uh, solid silver button. It's a bit crimpled and it's like a flat button. It's awesome, viewers, just to save a little piece of silver history like that that is amazing i love it 
I am so happy I made the drive for two hours this morning. Buzzing on the big buttons, the little buttons and everything in between. All right, Scouse Jay's here today and he hasn't got, what, what's his big mate's name? The Mac. The Mac. Mac's not here, Mac spat his dummy out. <laughs> Shout out to you, Mac, because Paul's on the silver and I'm fucking smashing it. You should have been here, mate. You should have been here. Well done, Paul. And you've got a cannonball off the first cannonball, field. Cannonball, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are you allowed to take that back into Merseyside? <laughs> <laughs> as long as you haven't got the cannon. <laughs> Nice Thanks, one, Steve. Paul. Thank you very much, mate. This field here, I've had two hammered. Uh, there's been Romans off it. So there's old stuff there, but I mean, you're doing all right here as well, mate. Yeah, I'm just taking it slow. Sure, People sure. are walking over there. Well done anyway, mate, for making the journey south. Jay's got the cut. What, what's Jay got? Something sort of nice. Where's Mac, Jay? Yeah, he's on the couch, that's it. Did he not, did he not get his gyro yesterday? <laughs> No, it's not old, but look at this. That oh, was just that's cool. lovely silver, isn't it? I don't know about whether it's not old. It's, it's got a solid, chunky look to it, mate. It's nice, isn't it? I think that is fairly old, unless it's got stamps on. No if, stamps on it, mate. If it's got no stamps on that, Jay, and looking at the front of it, that's got three or four hundred years worth of age, that, mate. Nice little silver find, isn't it, Lovely, mate, mate lovely. Lovely. There you go, I'm, I'm zoomed in now. Well done, Joe. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Shout out to Mac. Mac, lazy fucker. Get up. Was get that out all it was? Lad. It was just too lazy. Yeah, he's been sick, mate, the last few so weeks. So he, he's had his gyro. He's not in Walton. <laughs> he's, not, he's not in Walton. He's had his gyro. He just couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> I don't know, viewers. These scousers, they're not declaring all their military fines. He's, he's de Paul's, Paul's declared his uh, cannonball that I'm going to have a look at later but he's got this amazing trigger guard straight out of oh i don't know maybe 1600s could have been off a proper musket that that is a really cool find yeah and this is what happens when you get out of merseyside didn't it you start, you start finding stuff yeah you used to be around there don't like to this ah oh, birkenhead park i i i Fucking did all my early years on Birkenhead Park. I've, I've done the hard yards. That's lovely, that Paul. Really yeah, nice, that. That's why you can't go there. I've no not more. seen one as good as that, mate. Yeah, I just thought it was a draw. I'm glad. Well done, Paul. Excellent, mate. Yeah. Cash converters are going to love you when you get back. Scouts <laughs> is doing all right on the quieter fields. Loving it. Sorry if it's windy, viewers. As soon as I click this camera on, it just blew up. Uh, amazing. But it's usually uh, Jay and Mac. Mac's the big lad. He's been in a few of me LGD. Uh, right, darling. Sandra shouting. Uh, Mac's been in a few of me Let's Go Digging videos. If you're watching this on the couch with your uh, cider and your crisps, Mac, have a brilliant Christmas, mate. Hopefully see you on the next one. So I've got my two hammers on the bottom on the bottom field by the road on this side. Two nice buttons this side in the middle field. I'm gonna stick with it and do this side here. And then I'm going over to the cars. I'm gonna get my dais out and take it back down on the bottom productive field. Gonna have a little go in here. I was finding rubbish when I tracked through this morning, but uh, Paul has had the cannonball out of here and the trigger guard, so who knows what else is in here. Well, I've got a lovely crotal bell here up on the top field still. And uh, Chunk, I'm reliably informed that his name's Chunk. <laughs> I'm not going to ask why, but uh, fair play. You come from Somerset today, bud. Yeah, mate. And you're on a lovely crotal bell. Happy days. Happy days out of Let's Go Digging. Nice one, mate. And, and the sun's out now as well. Going to go and chuck this hat in the car and get me dais for a bit. Looks like a ring pull indentation, doesn't it, viewers? A bit luckier than that. Medieval buckle. I don't know how much of the pin. I think most of the pin's gone. I'm happy. I would had a feeling my knocks might chuck out a hammer just before I put it in the car because I'm right by the car. But uh, I'll take that as the knocks final hurrah. 
for all of you else on the medieval blooming buckles. Happy dais in a minute, just to have a little play. Try and get out the uh, windy of you as round the back, look. Look, there's Paul's cannonball. I've got to get a cannonball selfie. Sorry if it's windy, viewers. Look at that, I've never dug one. It's definitely not a shot put. This is straight out of um, late 1500s to mid, mid 1600s. Somebody's been firing that off. It's awesome. James, that's deep downstairs. Oh, is it? Well done on your big banger, Paul. Love it. Love it. Go, go and uh, fucking drop that on Max Belly to wake him up when, he, <laughs> when he's lying on the couch. Drop it from about six foot. <laughs> Don't know whether you can hear it, but just over there on the Salisbury Plains, there's uh, tanks, machine gun fire. So this is where I got my two hammers this morning on the bottom field. It's emptied out a lot now. For the last three hours, there's been about twice as many people as what you can see now all over this. And I've still been getting, I've switched my dice with the HF coil. Been pulling out buttons and stuff, what they've missed. I think this is a good, good example of the top of a tobacco tin jar from about 1700s so another nice little relic there that they've missed while they've been gridding this i'm hoping to get another nice old coin that they've missed too fingers crossed viewers see if the hf coil very very noisy here on this ground on this bit i don't hear so much of it the way i'm running the knocks on the beats to land I love hearing the ground so yeah I'm happy that I'm pulling out bits now and hearing the ground. Knox is a, a very powerful tool but I read the ground much better with me dais. One of the guys just showed me this I think it's a little commemorative thing and there is a date on the bottom but even zoomed in it's quite hard to read. Uh, I don't know whether it might be foreign because I think I might have made out a reference to Italy on the other side viewers. See that bottom word there, it's like Italia. Yeah, it's interesting that. It's got the nice example of like the back plate of the medieval buckles. The rivets on there. It's even got some patterns on. I'm going to marry it up with the other part that I found earlier in the other field and see if they kind of match size wise. Put them back on again. There you go, viewers. That that's they're not quite the exact same size, but that's how that would have gone with the uh, plate one end and the buckle the other end. Medieval. Neil's just shown us uh, this Victoria commemorative. Uh, medallion, it's made out of lead. Well, yeah, you can quite see it, clearly see. That would have been for a diamond jubilee or something, looking at this bust. It looks like just, just before she popped the clogs. Well, yeah, Queen Victoria. So this produ productive field at the bottom hasn't been done to death. It's getting on for two o'clock. It's been well battered, but they missed this, what I'm thinking was uh, a coat hanger. If they can miss that, they can miss hammers. If they can miss hammers, they can miss rare hammers and Saxon pennies and gold Romans. Keep on going to the last signal viewers. That's, that's my view anyway. Beautiful little medieval uh, heraldic um, horse pendant or something, little shield. Would have been mounted on leather that that's really nice find i haven't found one of them mounts for it for ages so yes, mate. well you. done and Steve. nice and sunny now uh sun's out so we can finish on a high point definitely that's amazing, yeah. on the hammered before we go more, more hammered 
I'm still pulling out um, targets, but uh, it's funny how this old detecting game goes. Um, seems like all the good targets got hoovered up this morning, and the targets that I am finding now are mainly buttons and nondescript bits of lead. Oh, look at my hands, viewers. Oh, oh that's a proper detector, detecting hands. Um, don't need a dais, don't need an ox, don't need a dais too. If you've got hands like that, you'll always find buttons, viewers. Ten past, ten past three, viewers. And uh, there's only about, there's about eight of us left in the field now. Uh, it's been a good day, though. And I'm going to drive over to a place called Market Lavington. Never been there before. But that's where my digs are tonight. The Green Dragon. So we'll end this with a pint at the Green Dragon. Sounds good to me, viewers. Just having one of uh, Joanne's go. Who, who do you blame if these are horrible? Paul. Oh. <laughs> blame Joe, kids. Blame Paul. Get on the scones. Did, did, did you make them? No. Oh, made last night in the van. <laughs> out of straw and butter. Straw and butter. Oh, look at my hands, viewers. What am I going to... Oh, I'll have, I'll have to leave a bit of this. My hands are black. I won't eat the edges, viewers. Get yourself uh, on the dig tomorrow, kids. Yeah, so you'll see this tonight. Let's go digging. Uh, get on the group if you want to come out and have another hammy fest tomorrow, kids. Uh, on the Sunday on in the Wiltshire. On the church fields. With the scones and the Black Hand Gang. I just found a pub. Nice little pub. I think they might be the uh, rooms there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I was right, viewers. Just these uh, little rooms off, off the uh, main pub. Oh, it's nice. Oh, breakfast sounds good. Two free range eggs. Oh, I'll have the lot. Just don't don't write it all down. I'll just have the lot. And I'm booked in for dinner tonight at 7 30. These blooming key fobs. Look how big the key is. To the fob now i'm assuming they think that um massive key fob that means you won't lose it well guess what you've got to put that in your pocket with other stuff and it takes up that much of your pocket your wallet can fall out accidentally and shit so we might not lose your key but i nearly lost my wallet viewers in one of these little huts out the back having a fucking fag on my own you'd have had this uh video up on youtube by now if they'd have had any fucking wi-fi that was worthy of the name Ooh, i don't know viewers this life on the road it ain't all it's fucking cut out to be doesn't help that that internet dating's fucking shite i've deleted all that off my phone i'm sitting here on my fucking own having a fag fucking moaning to you guys i had a good day I hope you had a good day. I'll go and have a pint in a minute and see if we can get nail this phone onto some proper Wi-Fi or something. Weld it onto it. I, whatever it fucking takes in the Green Dragon viewers, I shall rivet this phone onto their Wi-Fi. Whatever. I've only been here fucking two minutes and I'm already breaking the rules. I've just noticed behind me the sign there says... No smoking in this hut, please. There's fucking no one here. Want me to sit over there on a fucking table? You wouldn't think I found two hammered today, would you, viewers? He's not a green dragon, but he's a great dragon. Hey, 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 come here. Come here. Come in. Get in here. Oh, he's huge. I've got a friend of his, he's putting his paw up and everything here. He's massive. We've got a pint and I think I've logged into the Wi Fi. What's his name? He's got a poppy on him like Buster anyway. In the poppy brigade. You're beautiful, aren't you? Massive doggy.